Toasters, what is your soul's purpose? S-O-U-L. Your soul's purpose is the sole reason, S-O-L-E, of you being on this earth. Let's talk about it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. Toast to me. Brothers, if you have not joined the power circle, this is the time to do it. This is the time, man. I don't know what you're waiting on, but this is the time to do it. Now, we started out charging $9.95 a month. Now it's $19.95 a month. And eventually, it's going to be $99 a month. And that is still a steal. I promise you, it's a steal, man. The knowledge, the wisdom, the connections you make in this group are unparalleled. No one competes with, with this group, this power circle. Uh, we're doing great things, man. we got some great brothers in it. And I'm telling you, brothers, you are doing yourself a disservice if you're not part of the power circle, man. It's the real deal. Now, speaking of the power circle, not a month goes by without some brother hitting me up and saying, man, I'm so glad I discovered the power circle. I'm so glad I joined. Man, I got I got brothers who are almost literally in panic mode if there's something going on with their credit card transaction and they they believe they're going to miss out on the power circle. They're going to, they're going to, uh, they feel like they're going to lose access to the power circle in the upcoming month, man. They're in panic mode, brother. This just happened recently. You know, I had to tell my brother, Hey, calm down. It's going to work out. If you, if, if you do miss it, we'll, we'll still figure it out, man. I'll get you the link. We'll figure it out. You know, fortunately, he, he let me know today that his credit card went through. Everything's cool. But brothers are looking forward to joining the power circle every Sunday, man. We meet every Sunday at 8 o'clock most times. Link is in the description. Now, brothers, how do you find your group? How do you find your tribe, man? And how do you discover your life's purpose? your soul's purpose. How do you find that, man? First, you got to find the rhythm, your own rhythm. My rhythm and your rhythm may not be the same, or they may be the same, but you got to find your rhythm. Man, we've been at the club or at bars or seen on TV uh, a guy dancing, and to us, he may look like he's offbeat, that he doesn't have rhythm. Uh, But He's dancing, he's enjoying himself, and he doesn't care who's watching, he doesn't care who, who's who's gossiping, who's whispering, who's talking about him, he's enjoying himself. He's dancing to his own rhythm. That's his rhythm. Now, we say it's offbeat, we say he doesn't have rhythm. No, it's just not our rhythm, but he has his own rhythm, and that's what it is, fellas. You got to find your rhythm. Your rhythm is... And my rhythm, like I said, may not be the same. You got to find your rhythm. When you find your rhythm, you'll find your life purpose or your soul's purpose. And you'll find your tribe. Now, you ask, well, how do I do that? How do I find my rhythm? First, man, you got to be aware. You got to be conscious of what's going on. You got to be conscious and aware of your tendencies, of your activities. What do you like? What do you resonate with? What kind of people do you resonate with? Uh, what kind of people do you do you clash with? What kind of things do you like to do? Got to be aware. You got to be awake and notice and be intentional about noticing and watching and being aware of what you're doing and, and know your patterns. You see, get it? Patterns and rhythm all the same. Once you discover that, key in on that, build that, nurture that, hone that. And I guarantee you, when you do that, you'll send out signals. You'll send, you'll broadcast energy and signals, radiation to other people, to the universe. And you'll find your tribe. You'll find people who operate and move on the same rhythm as you do. I promise you, man. I promise you. Man, prime example. One day I was riding through this neighborhood, going to go to this restaurant. And... I saw a group of men, well, three men on the sidewalk together walking. And I admit I, I was in judgment mode. 
I looked at the, the black man in the group. The other two guys were not black. And I looked at the black man in the group. Uh, it was several years ago. And I said to myself, man, why would that brother come out here in those hot water pants? I said, man, why would that brother not comb out that fro? He got this big old plug in the back of his head. Like, why Why would you come out the house like that, man? I was in judgment mode. And then immediately, man, I looked at the other two gentlemen he was with. And, man, although they were not black, they were similar in energy. They were similar in vibration. They, were, they had the same rhythm. And I said to myself right then, it's not my place to judge. I'm, not, I'm actually out of line. That's his tribe. He belongs right there. His rhythm is not my rhythm. My rhythm is not his rhythm. We don't necessarily belong in the same tribe. And that's okay. I'm not right or wrong. He's not right or wrong. But I'm wrong for judging. That's not love. And so you got to be confident and know what rhythm you vibrate on, what rhythm you dance to, what rhythm you live on and connect with those people, right? Connect with those people and don't judge others. You know, like I had a moment at that time judging others. Don't judge others. Dance to your own rhythm, to the beat, to the rhythm of your own beat and your, your clan, your tribe would draw to you. I guarantee it, man. Uh, step out on nature. Be amongst the trees. Be amongst uh, the animals. Just be to yourself. Be into your own thoughts. Question things. Question yourself. Analyze yourself. Accept yourself. And that's your rhythm. That's how you learn your rhythm. And, and don't worry about balance. Don't worry about being balanced. Don't worry about being on beat with everyone else. That's your rhythm. Live on your rhythm. That's what it's all about, man. We're all different. There's all types of different tribes that people connect to. And we can all show each other love without judgment. But connect to the people who vibrate on your rhythm. You know what I'm saying? We're all here for a reason. I'm here to touch a certain type of person to motivate and inspire a certain group of people. And there's a certain people that motivate me where others can't. And, and these others that can't, they motivate some other people, another group of people, but it doesn't resonate with me. And that's okay. But there's a group of people that are able to inspire me and have me think and really, really get me excited. Those people are meant for me and people like me. Find your tribe, find your rhythm. And then your soul's purpose should be your soul purpose on earth. Find your gift. Discover your gift. Discover your talent. What are you good at naturally that comes easy to you, that you really enjoy, that also brings pleasure and enjoyment to others? What is that? That's your gift. That's your talent, your God-given gift and talent. Embrace that, man. Nurture that. Hone that. Take care of that. And then share it with the world. That's going to be the way you take care of yourself. I'm telling you, man, that will take care of you, man, where you never have to worry about where you're going to live, what you're going to eat, what tomorrow holds. You'll never have to worry about that if you focus on that. I'm telling you, man, that's self-love and that's giving out love when you do that telling you, man, be aware, pay attention around you, pay attention to your tendencies, to your activities, right? Hone your gift and talent. Give it back. That's your soul's purpose, which is the sole reason you're on this earth. As always, love. Peace. If you've enjoyed this video and past videos, you can show your appreciation by going to www.angel2angelhelp.org and donate at least $1 per week. That's it, $1 per week. I serve as the VP on the Board of Directors for Angel to Angel. We provide educational and mentorship services for the youth. We provide assistance for the elderly, 
the homeless and the mentally ill. Now, I know content creators want you to hit their cash out, and I don't knock that. I certainly won't reject that. But what I want you to do for me is go to www.angel2angelhelp.org and donate at least $1 per week. That's it. $1 per week. As always, love. Peace.